All right, three, two, one, action. Hello everybody and welcome to the Stan Wilkes commentary, that sounds so egotistical, of Full Suction. And a very quick film, here we go, straight in, George playing Ben. And you might notice in the background there's two missing photos and we're setting up the phone being on low charge. I just realised actually there's a lot to, uh, a lot of exposition actually in this first 30 seconds. We've introduced my father as the owner of this village hall, in which George, in this Rather tediously long wide take is getting ready to do some hoovering. And I, I, you know what, sometimes I, I recollect and I think, what was going through my mind to even think of an idea like this? There's your important details, he's just bumped it into the wall. And the whole idea of this film, if, if it isn't obvious and overt enough, if you disrespect the hoover, it's going to come and kill you. Simple as. This is bare bones minimum storytelling, I'm afraid. Uh, if you look carefully, you can see the tripod and the reflection of the hoover. So George is doing the hoovering, and the whole idea is that the hoover, to some degree, is in control of its own destiny, so it's not really a mundane object anymore. Uh, I guess, you know, if you've seen films like Dolls by Stuart Gordon and Rubber, uh, this isn't a, really an original concept. But the whole point here is, uh, to, I've always liked schlock movies, well-crafted schlock like Reanimator and The Thing. And so it was fun. It was fun making this movie, especially the soundtrack, which uh, at this point in the film, there is no music because there's no need to. The whole idea is to make it boring, and I mean that sincerely. And so the Hoover has just turned itself on. The whole idea was never to draw attention to the Hoover too much, because if you do, then you reveal, you reveal the game too early. You, you show that your cards too soon, and that's what we didn't want to do. It's, it's all about the surprise. Right now it is supposed to be boring and mundane and George has just exploded. Or Ben, in this case. And so because we set up at the beginning that he's... that Mark left his note, we're gonna have George go to it now and he's gonna try and use his phone, but if you remember, we set up that his phone is on low charge. And so now his phone's not working. It's very much about planting and payoff with, with a film like this. <laughs> and so the phone goes back in the pocket. You might have noticed the hoover is not in that wide. And the, ooh, ooh, suddenly behind. And now we had to cut to a close-up to hide the fact that we didn't actually film the hoover doing that. So it's coiled itself up. Really simple techniques of reverse motion and uh, splicing footage together. And now he's gone behind and I believe it's now the music is used and for this I just composed some rock music I thought screw it I'm having a good time here uh, George, George really holds the film together in my opinion and I don't say that oh, not really as his brother but as as someone who appreciates his acting he really uh, is the glue for why this film works I guess about Killer Hoover and now he's on the run and this is where we get really heavy rock as I said I didn't give a bloody flying crap I just wanted to have a good time it's about a killer hoover, give me a rest. And so he's being pulled towards it. Very ridiculous, very ridiculous, but less is more. Don't want to show too much of it. I thought that was a semi a semi interesting technique to zoom in on the hoover's mouth. And if you look carefully in the background, George has been added oh Ben has been added to the list of missing photos, so maybe the Hoover has been sucking people up before. <coughs> Pardon me. And now Mark is picking up the hoover. He will bump it into the wall. And that's the film. Well, that was fucking dreadful. And the whole idea that we were trying to suggest here is the hoover has been doing this for a while and will continue doing it for a while more. Uh, what can I say? What can I say? It's a film about a killer hoover. It's the film I've always really wanted to make, really. I've always wanted to make something ridiculous. And so I had a good time. It was good fun. Good fun. Everybody, we had a great time. So, and there's your commentary. Not an awful lot to it, but it is full suction.
You know, honestly, the setups and payoffs in this film are like full suction level. <laughs> it was like something that you like you would write 